it is a tale that I have heard with a few slightly different details. And please, if anybody knows of some versions that they've heard, please hold your corrections until I'm done, because this is the version that I had been told originally, so then therefore it is the most correct. Um, way back when, uh, there were a few individuals in the United States Army that were going through certain exercises and drills. And one of them uh, that has been introduced to the Army is to use these gigantic Q-tip looking things these pugil sticks. So the drill instructor is very confidently going through and showing all of his men how to properly use it, and how to properly hold it, and how to swing, and how to counter, and how to block, and everything. So he's going well, and they, uh, they bring everybody to this one uh, training area where there's, it, it's a nice, round, open area, very much resembling a, a gladiatorial coliseum, complete with an officer's tower for them to watch from above and be able to pick and choose and, and be able to observe thoroughly how well their, their soldiers perform. Well, the drill instructor goes through, and as these men are battling each other, it comes to a point where one individual comes forward, and he comes out and holds the pugil stick a little differently than everyone else. <laughs> Drill instructor is infuriated. How many times have I told you to this is the proper way to hold it and goes over, straightens it out, and the gentleman says yes, sir, and goes, comes to a position, holds it correctly, and then as soon as the whistle blows, because they don't say lay on like we do, um, he quickly and immediately goes back to the awkward position that, the drill, that drives the drill instructor crazy. Somehow or another, this man who holds this pugil stick rather awkwardly, very quickly dispatches of his foe. So the drill instructor shouts out, you got lucky! Yeah. Let me show you how to properly use that. So he picks up the pugil stick from the defeated soldier and quickly starts, to, starts his instruction and says, now try to hit me as best you can. <laughs> as the drill instructor is then picking up his hat out of the dirt and brushing it, brushing himself off from the other side of the arena. <laughs> he comes forward and says, okay, you got lucky again. And sets in one more time. After being quickly dispatched once more, a voice booms from the officer's tower. Sergeant, ask that man if he's in the SCA. <laughs> the drill instructor says, yes, sir. Are you in the SCA? He says, yes. What does that mean? <laughs> Son, that means you can't beat him. <laughs> <laughs> the sergeant, hearing something from his trainee, calls back up to the officers again and says, he says he's a dude. What does that mean? <laughs> Son, that means they can't beat him either. <laughs>